Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna do a quick walk around video on this 2022 Ford F-150. This is the XL trim level and this vehicle is the single cab with the long eight foot bed here. This also has the 101A package which gives you the power on uh, windows, cruise control, and some other things that we're gonna go over that in the video right now. Let's get this video started right now. All right, so let's start over here with the front of this vehicle. So. Here on the front of the vehicle, you do have the traditional F-150 uh, headlights here. Now you have the halogen bulb here for the high beams and the low beams, plus you have halogen bulb for your turn signal right in the middle. Now that leads you over to this matte black finished grille. That does look very good in this trim. Uh, and you have the forward badge right in the middle there. Nice scoop here in the hood on the top there, and that is white uh, in the paint color here, just like the uh, the regular body. And then down on the bottom there, you do have this uh, black finished bumper here on the bottom. And you'll see right uh, right there, we have a matte finished on uh, on the black plastic there, and that's traditionally where you know some of the fog lights would go on the upper trim levels. But in this one, uh, you don't get the fog lights, but it all overall just looks very good. Uh, on the front of the vehicle here, especially for a uh, work truck. Now, coming on over to the side of the vehicle, you do have these 17-inch steel um, al or steel wheels there that are, um, you know, kind of standard here on the work trucks. Look pretty good, um, especially for this trim level, and the tires are, are nice and meaty. Um, coming on over, you do have F-150 spelled out right there, plus XL um, right in the badge there as well. And then you have that black mirror cap, and then black door handles and black trim around the windows there. Uh, again, white body uh, colored all the way around the side. Now, coming on to the back here, you do have this long bed. Now, this bed is eight foot uh, in length there, and this is the uh, the bed that you can get uh, optional here on that single cab. Um, coming on the back side here, you do have these uh, tail lights here that are halogen uh, for brake lights and your turn signals. And then coming on over, you do have the F-150 badge spelled out right there on the back. Plus, you have a black uh, space here on the top where you have your handle for the um, tailgate where you can lower that down plus you have your backup camera right there above it on the bottom here You do have this black finished bumper that does have these uh, little dots on it that you can see and what those are There are the this is the reverse sensing system that you get on the 101 a package here on the XL It also gives you some power some other power things like power windows and cruise control uh, And then down here you do have this optional tow hitch as well right located right there And then you also do have over in this area right here. You have your seven and four pin um, hitch or wiring harness uh, set up right there for the the vehicle now coming into this bed there I'm gonna zoom you out a little bit, but again eight foot bed now this bed has the capacity to hold 1985 pounds. This is a four by two um, suit or regular cab uh, eight foot bed 1985 pounds of payload, which is absolutely awesome. So if you're looking for a work truck uh, this eight foot bed single cab is your truck right there if you're going to haul some stuff in the bed let's go up underneath that hood all right so one of the most important parts of the truck here underneath the hood the power here this is the base 3.3 liter v6 engine that is hooked up to the 10 speed automatic transmission now power put uh, numbers here on this engine 290 horsepower 265 pound feet of torque I told you in the back there, you can do 1,985 pounds of payload and towing capacity on this vehicle is 5,000 pounds. Let's go over that window sticker now. All right, so price time. Let's look at the price here on this vehicle. So you're gonna see at the top there, Ford F-150, four by two, regular cab. It's got the 141 um, inches of wheelbase there. Um, now, coming on over here, fuel economy. You have 21 combined fuel economy, 24 on the highway, 19 city, and your distance, if you put gasoline in this vehicle, is 502 miles of range. Um, you're gonna see that um, XL here, it does have the 101A package, which is the power uh, equipment group with the cruise control and reverse sensing. It's a $2,080 MSRP upcharge. And then you have down at the bottom there, you have your interior work surface and your um, class four trailer hitch. I'll show you the work service in a second. All coming down after destination, MSRP, $35,455. Overall for this truck, let me know in the comment section below, is that worth the money? Let's go over to the front seat and get into the driver's side. All right, front side, uh, front driver's side time. Let's take a look at the key real quick there. Now, this is the key here on the XL uh, 101A package there. You have your unlock, lock, you have your hazard button there, and then you have your Ford logo right on the back. Plus you have a flip out key there. So if you're walking up to the vehicle, unlock the vehicle, and then you can jump right on inside the vehicle here. Um, so coming on over, you do have this uh, black gray finish here on the door panels. In this 101A package, you do get power windows and power mirror options here, plus power locks. You do have the, uh, a nice little 
uh, door opening, uh, you have the door opener or the handle there. I can't talk today, guys. You have a storage nook down there, plus a nice big speaker and some more storage nooks down on the bottom of the door panel. Now, coming over to the seating surfaces here, you have vinyl seating surfaces here and you have three seats across the side there. And I'm gonna show you here in a second how you can flip down that middle seat to give you more storage. You have uh, this uh, plastic um, feeling steering wheel here, kind of poly polyurethane there. And then you have some air vents here on the side. You do have like a little US flag right here on the side um, of the uh, air vents there. And then you also have your automatic headlights here on this vehicle um, with your lights there in the cargo area, plus your interior uh, dimming lights right there. Plus you have a power parking brake right there. And then uh, coming on over, you have some touch screens and everything in this vehicle, but I wanted to show you real quick um, this uh, interior work surface. So this is the interior work surface and it's basically on the back of this uh, middle seat here. So this uh, actually can move all around for you and you can kind of move it in whatever direction you want. So you can put like your laptop or piece of paper um, and move it all around. It also does, if you have it pressed on this side there and pull it, it actually does move up a little bit. So you can put, uh, if you go a little bit further, you can actually put like cup holders and that kind of stuff in the back here, plus a little area where you can store um, your like phone or paper and like that there. And if you push it back again, you have those two couples on the front. And then after all that, if you need a third person to slide in, you do have the third seat there. So it gives you that ability. Let's jump on in and uh, turn that touch screen on. All right. So we're inside this F-150 single cab XL trim level here. So let's go over to this touch screen here. So this has sync four eight inch touch screen here that has Apple CarPlay and Android all. Now this is on the XL trim level, which is very nice to have, especially like I said, if you're using this as a work truck, which a lot of folks are going to be using this as, you can plug your phone in and have basically navigation on your work truck standard. So pretty nice. You can press this button up at the top there. It takes you to your backup camera. You also have your auto stop start off button there. And then you have your hazards here as well. And then you have your traction control off button right up above there. Now, down below that, you do have your volume knob here and your tuning knob for the radio. Plus you have this button over here that will basically turn your screen off in a sense there, uh, but it basically will give you a clock in um, your, uh, it kind of gives you your day and everything on it there. Now, and then you can press that button and it go completely black if you'd like. And then you can press it one more time and turn it back on there. Pretty cool. Down a little bit further than that, you have your single zone automatic climate control or single zone climate control. Um, you have the turn knob here for hotter and colder right over here. And then you also have your zone settings right there, plus your uh, fan speed uh, right there. Now over to the left of that, you do have your drive modes, which will display right up here on the center screen. So you got normal, you have tow haul, you have eco, you have sport. And then if you slide all the way over to the right side, you have uh, slippery and, uh, and trail mode there. Um, and then you're right back to normal if you continue to uh, turn the knob to the left there. Now basically I just did that by just turning this knob. Now, you also do have not one, not two, but actually four USB uh, parts up here, two USB-Cs and one USB-A, and then you also have a 12-volt power outlet uh, right down there. And then you have a little storage nook down here where you can store your phone or uh, anything you really need to, to put down there. It is kind of like a matte, uh, you know, kind of a, a grippy finish there, which is nice. And then these floor, these seating surfaces or floor surfaces um, are vinyl, so they're a lot easier to clean. No need to get all-weather mats in this truck. You got them already with the vinyl. Now, coming on over there, you do have a little storage area there with the F-150 spelled out, and then you have your glove box um, located right down below that there. Now, shifter for the vehicle is actually mounted right behind the steering wheel. You just pull it down, and it hooks up to that 10-speed automatic transmission. And then over here on the steering wheel, you have your traditional F-150. Now, what's very cool is, is that you have your cruise control. That was an option. But you still have lane departure warning here on this vehicle. You have your volume up and down, your voice control button there. And then over on the right-hand side here is you have your, um, you know, toggle back and forth through your um, channels on the radio or on your phone. Uh, answer hang up button there. And then your back button and menu button in four. That's actually all for the screen here in the middle. So you can go up and down and back and all that stuff there um, on this vehicle here. So and you can go hit that menu button and it will take you through um, some different options there. I'm clicking it too fast, but um, you can go through a whole bunch of different things. And now while we're up here, um, you do have your tachometer, you have some gauges up here on the top there, and then you have your speedometer uh, right down there below. Windshield wiper stalk is right here, and then your turn signals and high beams are right there as well, which is very nice to have. Um, good location for the air vents there. You have your uh, reverse mirror right there. And then up above your head, you do have a sunglass holder here. 
that's uh, very nice and big. Plus you have your interior light settings um, right there as well, which is nice to have. Uh, you have your sun visors up here as well. And just overall, it is a very comfortable truck, especially if you're gonna use this, as I said before, for a work truck. All right, so that's been a quick walk around video on that. 2022 Ford F-150 XL regular cab with the eight foot bed there. Let me know in the comment section below. This vehicle costs $35,455 MSRP. Do you think it's worth the money? Let me know in the comment section below. The other question is, is what other brand new pickup truck um, that it's a full size pickup truck are you gonna get for $35,000 um, in this market today? Let me know in the comment section below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Um, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you could, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any comments or questions, put them down in the comment section below. And if you're in the market for a vehicle, shoot me an email paulphilip 7 at me.com. I can ship all across the USA. Um, I have tons of manufacturers I can choose from, plus over a thousand certified pre-owned and pre-owned vehicles. Thank you all so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.